going on guys it's just in front of j media back with another video so right now it's amidst the whole coronavirus outbreak and everyone's supposed to quarantine in the house um so there haven't been a bunch of car stuff so a lot of meets as well as car shows have been cancelled unfortunately um so again we're not sure how long it's gonna last so those of you guys who are supposed to quarantine at home try your best to stay at home don't go out especially to crowded places uh, i still have to get some content for you guys so um, besides my car just sitting in the garage, we actually have been wanting to get the car shot uh, with a fellow Austin photographer. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and meet him right now. Uh, we're going to do that social distancing thing where we don't get too close. Uh, like I said, it is Sunday, but you know, with a lot of shots being closed, a lot of places should be pretty empty. So hopefully you can get some good shots in as well. Alright, so I haven't driven this car in probably about two weeks. I'm going to start it up. Let it warm up a little bit and then I gotta move my RSX out the way as well to get this car out of the garage. So a little cold start for you guys. And now we're gonna start the RSX, get her out of the way. So if you guys didn't know, RSX has been reliable, good old daily. I'm gonna put my RSX on the side. I feel like a valet service moving the car out the way. <laughs> Alright, got the good old RSX out the way. Right now I can go ahead and move my car out. I've been I've been yearning to drive this car for a minute just because like I said I don't daily drive the car and she's been sitting in the garage for about two weeks so time to take her out for a nice little drive and a photo shoot. So like I say, I miss driving this car and no, I'm not wearing gloves because of the coronavirus but I have a suede vertex steering wheel so every time I drive it, I just want to make sure I'm protecting the steering wheel. I miss driving this car so much. Uh, one thing about this is it's been really empty at night and during the day the streets have been just, you know, not as packed with cars as per usual so nice little cruise to the domain for a photo shoot. So I just got over here to Rock Rose. Any other given day here at the Domain, on Sundays, the bars will be packed, restaurants will be packed, but right now it's pretty much a ghost town. So I just hard park over here, just because usually it's pretty hard to get a spot. I guess there's still a couple people who are out here uh, parked. And I'm gonna meet our photographer today, which is Dante, uh, otherwise known as I Like Wheels on Instagram. He's been trying to shoot my car now for a couple months. So we're just waiting over here for him to show up. So Dante just showed up in the Beamer. Uh, so yeah, he's gonna find a spot to park and then yeah, he's gonna come over here send some photos So I didn't notice it was all in the rain I should have brought an extra microfiber towel to wipe down any other spots It was in the garage when I was cleaning it down so you could still see a little bit of rain spots water spots Hopefully not too obvious in the photos. All right, so we have Dante over here again Otherwise known as I like wheels on IG so make sure to check out his work But we've been trying to shoot for for how long? Like a couple months, right? Yeah, yeah a long time. <laughs> and I'm, I'm glad we finally managed to make it yeah. work. Um, but yeah, what are you? What kind of setup are you shooting with today? A uh, Canon 7D, and then I'm using a Sigma 50 mil prime. Nice, man. Yeah, Your go-to lens? Yeah, this one is. For now, it is. I've been using it a lot. My Tamron used to be my go-to lens. When that okay. Was, so. Nice, man. You should be able to get some good shots. It's <laughs> nice and empty out here. So yeah. <laughs> So I was just saying like usually on the weekend, especially a Sunday, you see people having Sunday fun day out here. Like a bunch of people at the bars just, you know, having happy hour. But right now it's pretty empty. I'm actually surprised to see a couple of cars. Seems like the pizza spot over here is open. So um, yeah, for the most part, pretty empty. Um, and we're hoping we can get some pretty nice shots. Also managed to switch on that uh, red LED lights on so it changes color I can switch it with Bluetooth uh, mode but then I just really like the red just looks so aggressive and over there in the distance we have an R35 GTR just casually cruising down oh it's good oh looks so good and right now we have Dante getting some interior shots as well so it's a little bit overcast but Hopefully that means uh, 
you know with a black car sometimes you get a lot of reflections hopefully that means not too much reflection but yeah just letting him do his magic like I said we've been trying to plan the shoot for quite a while um, and I think one of the first few times I've had him you know shoot my car at a couple of meets here and there I think it was like September when he shot some shots of the car at the uh, car flicks and chill event so it's been a little while now all right so right now we're gonna shift to a second spot in the top of the garage actually more cars coming right now I guess it's almost lunchtime all the favorite drivers and uber eat drivers are coming out so we just shifted all the way here to the top of the garage if you guys have been watching my videos for a while you guys would know that this is one of my go-to spots here at the domain when i do shoot just because you have a nice little backdrop of some buildings in the background and it's pretty empty um, i mean right now business is on open but even when you know business is as per usual it is pretty empty and one other thing i like about out here is it's kind of like two tiers open air and from up here you can shoot an arrow shot off the car down there so that's pretty cool as well look at the photographer anything for a good angle <laughs> so yeah i know sometimes you guys might be like man for the photo looks really crazy but you guys don't know you see photographers proning on the ground you see them like up in the tree <laughs> just to get a good angle and then we also went ahead and put on that uh i guess i like to call it the party mode on the headlights so it's just kind of like strobes with different color changes even though i like the red since we uh, had a switch of location i figured maybe we could switch it up a little bit uh, again i really like this location and since today is a little bit overcast um it's not too bright out here but i think it makes for a nice little backdrop while we're out here shooting randomly my boy min sent me a video footage on ig by the way if you guys haven't really followed me on instagram make sure to do that so you guys see my videos before it's out on the youtube channel but anyways let me try to get a shot without my reflection in it this is the view he sent me a little video you can see my car right in the middle it's like way up there that's kind of creepy <laughs> we're pretty high up here on the top of the garage not too many buildings around us that's uh, higher than us so from the look of it he must be probably somewhere in that building <laughs> and right now i'm back in the car we're gonna ship into the garage so we can get a little backdrop kind of dark uh and while i'm over here we have dante up there getting some arrow shots from above so that should look pretty cool like a bird's eye view I said earlier we had Dante up there shooting some arrow shots of the car parked right here and like the spot has a lot of cool backdrops so right now getting like a side profile with a different backdrop again ooh it looks good nice that looks really good Alright, so we shifted down here. So there's a little bit of light, some LED lights as well, some daylight from the side. But it looks so good here. Um, again, we have the red LED lights. I might play around with it, maybe switch it to a different color, maybe switch it off and just have the demon eyes on. But it should give it a nice dark vibe. And for a change, I switch off the LED boomerang lights and then have just the demon eyes switched on in red and my tail lights are on as well so you can get some nice tail light shots Ooh, that looks good we're pretty much wrapping up the shoot over here with dante so again big shout out to him like i said we've been planning to shoot for a while now um so besides ig i like wheels where else can you check out your work at um, really just facebook right now i have my website domain name up but i don't have anything on there so okay facebook and instagram right now facebook instagram yeah. nice so yeah if you guys you know want to get like shots taken make sure to hit him up say justin sent you or the jamie that sent you hopefully you can hook you up some good rates oh, yeah. so good. yeah appreciate it man thanks for coming out once again well, so we're gonna do some more stuff here in the future for sure i'm excited yeah so stay tuned like i said uh check out his ig page i'll be posting some photos too whenever he's done editing them i'm pretty excited Again, if you guys stick to the end, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.